This video will be adding an effect to every time our player shoots their gun and improving on our knife animation. So let's get started. To get started, go to the player and now what we want to do is add recoil to the guns that our player shoot. So we have a handgun, a rifle, and a shotgun. I'm going to add recoil to each time our player shoots any one of these guns. So let's move our player to the center. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new if statement. We're going to go to control and we're going to say if, and we're going to do this in this mouse down script. So we put the if statement inside the if mouse down, and then we're going to go to operators and say that if our current weapon is equal to one and we're going to do a different recoil for each gun. So we want to see if it's a pistol and if it's a pistol, then what we want to do is go to the looks and we're going to switch our costume to idle handgun one. Now that we have the costume we're going to be using, we're going to import a few new costumes that will be used for the recoil. So go to the costume tab and then go to uploads costume and we're going to go to the desktop where all your files are and then go to top down survivor and then we're going to start off at our handgun. Here we're going to go to the shoot file and we see one, two, three. We're going to select all of them and work with the pistol first. So we see one, two, three. So it starts here with the shoot and we're going to select survivor shoot handgun zero. And then once it switches to this costume, then what we'll have it do is create an if statement. So we go to control for our if statement and we're going to look if we actually have ammo that our player is shooting. So we go to operators and we say if our ammo is greater than, so we go to our greater than operator and select ammo and make sure that it's greater than zero. And if it is true, then we're going to wait. We're going to wait 0 0.16 seconds after we go to our first animation. And then we're going to do that again. We're going to go 0 0.16 seconds. And then we're going to go to looks and then switch our costume to survivor shoot handgun one. And then we're going to create an actual physical recoil, which we're going to do in motion and move our player back one step. And then after that, we're going to go to looks and we're going to switch to handgun two, but we're going to make sure we do that after we wait 0 0.16 seconds. And the reason we have it exactly to 0 0.16 seconds is because if you add 0 0.16 three times, it will give you about 0 0.5 seconds, which is as long as it takes for a pistol shot to take place. So now before we do anything else, what you want to do is go to the if ammo is greater than zero and we're going to move the switch costume and move negative one steps before we actually wait the seconds. Now let's work on our other weapons. Get another if statement and say if and then the equals operator and then go to variables and say if our current if our current weapon is equal to 1 then we want to do about the same steps but we're going to go to costumes and import our rifle animation and we're going to import our shotgun animation so we go to rifle and the shoot one and import and then we go to the shotgun and then we go to shoot and import the from the first to the last one now that we have all our animations, what we're going to now do is switch our costume first to the rifle. So we're going to use rifle zero. And then we're going to wait since each gunshot for our rifle takes 0 0.1 seconds. We're going to wait 0 0.03, three seconds between each gunshot. And now after we've waited that, we want to make sure that we actually have ammo that we're shooting before we actually have our player moving back. So we go to our greater than operator and then go to ammo and make sure it's greater than zero if we're using our rifle. And then go back to looks and then say switch costume to rifle one and then go to 
control and then weight 0 0.033 okay so we're just gonna make this 0 0.0332 and then after that we wanted to move back another one step so it moves back one step every time we shoot our rifle and then we wait again this amount of seconds so we wait 0 0.033 actually 34 so it equates to 0 0.1 and then we want to go to looks and then switch our costume to rifle 2 now we're just going to do that for one last time for our shotgun so that our shotgun works too so we say if our current weapon is equal to three and we're going to go to looks and then we're going to switch our costume to shotgun zero once we start it and we're going to use 0 0.3 seconds for our shotgun so we're going to say 0 0.33 seconds instead of 0 0.03 and we're going to then say if our ammo is greater than 2 then we can go into the next steps which is switching our costume to shotgun 1 and then we go to control and then we're going to wait out 0 0.33 seconds and then move negative one step and then wait 0 0.3 seconds again and then once we've waited the 0 0.34 seconds we can go ahead and switch to our last costume shotgun 2 before we actually test this we want to go to our bullets and we're going to change our weight to one second between each shotgun shot after we've changed that to weight one second we're going to then point towards the mouse pointer before we look if current weapon is equal to three so that our shotgun spread can work properly and we'll change it to point towards crosshair and to make testing easier for ourselves we're going to go to ammo pickup and set ammo to the beginning of the game to 15 and we wanted to also go to our player so we have it all this set up right here towards the rotation of our shotgun bullets so now let me see that our guns are working in full order let's try the shotgun perfect they have a nice little random spread Now let's go to our player and then just troubleshoot that little bit of weirdness we had there. So I see what our problem was. So what you simply have to do is make our move steps before the wait seconds. Now, with all of that done, we have just one thing left to do is go to our blood splat and make sure it has a little bit of space between it and from the zombie it was just killed and spawned to. So we're going to move about negative 40 steps and we're going to just do that after we point towards our player and go to the it's perfect position so now let's just hide the current weapon and now let's see our fully animated game let's start now this animation is now adding more liveliness to our game and making it feel more natural and complete but we still have a long way to go before we're actually done. We just have a few things that we need to complete before we actually finish all of this. So now what we're going to do in this current weapon, we're going to go to the costume tab and we want to ensure that we delete our previous knife attacks. That is a very important thing that we need to do. Now let's go ahead to our top down survivor and make sure we select the knife and then go to our melee attack and select from zero all the way to 14. So we're going to have 15 knife attack sprites. Now we go to our code and right here is where we're going to do the animation. So let's start off by going to our looks. I'm going to switch our costume to melee attack knife zero. So that's what we're going to start off with. And then once we do our first knife attack, 
then what we need to do is go to our control and we're going to repeat this so as we saw here we have 15 different animations so we want to do this 14 times since we already did the first one once so that takes away from one of the times you need to repeat it now what we're next going to do is switch our costume by one so we're going to go to our costume number and then go to the operators and then add it by one and next we're going to go to our control and wait 0. 0.025 seconds let's see how that looks yes sir that looks beautiful now that's our knife attack for our player but now we needed to do some damage so what we're going to do is we're going to create an if else statement and we're going to then go to operators and select an and operator and we're going to make sure that it's greater than but also less than a certain number so let's go back to our costume and see where we want the knife attack to actually do damage so if it starts right about here let's see we can say starting from here is where the force usually is applied when someone is hitting someone with a knife so at 17 up until 23 17 to 23 so we make sure that it's greater than but also less than and it's going to be our in looks it's going to be our costume number so we're going to make sure it's greater than 16 since 17 is the first number we'll be looking for and if it's less than 23 and we're going to use these two numbers to turn our knife on and off so knife will be on while it's between those two costumes and knife will be off while it's not so now let's set this all right here in the repeat function so we do that in our if statement we do it before we wait now let's see if there's any zombies who want this attacks there we go our zombies are taking damage yes that's perfect and now that's the last thing we needed to animate now let's go ahead and test our fully animated game Well, that was really fun, but we see that our play is still showing once we click game over. So let's just make sure we fix that up. We go to show it when the flag is clicked, but of course hide it in events when I receive game over. So thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. We will be adding music and polishing up our game. We're going to add a gun unlocking system where you get a certain amount of kills, then you unlock more guns. And every time you unlock guns, more zombies keep on spawning, making the game harder and harder as you go. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.